Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Blacklinger. It is so nice to be here reading to you today. I have a book called Grumpy Bird and I chose this book to read to you today because it's actually one that I got at the Knapp Book Fair um, in years past. So this actually came from a Knapp Book Fair and it is by Jeremy Tankard and it's called Grumpy Bird. And sometimes we all feel grumpy. In this story, Bird is Grumpy. Grumpy Bird by Jeremy Tankard. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. Look at his face. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Bird walked past sheep. Good morning, Bird, said sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Nice, said sheep. I'll keep you company. Bird walked past rabbit. Hi there. Bird, said Rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said Bird. It's no fun. I could use some exercise, said Rabbit. I'll walk too. Bird walked past Raccoon. Hey, Bird, said Raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? Looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'll come too. Bird walked past Beaver. Hello, Bird, said Beaver. What are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking, guessed Beaver. I love walking. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing, shouted Bird. I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said Fox, let's go. Bird walked. The other animals walked. Bird stopped. The other animals stopped. Bird stood on one leg. The other animals stood on one leg. Bird jumped. The other animals jumped. Hey, this is fun, said Bird. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they did. I'm so glad that Bird's not feeling grumpy anymore. I hope you find a great book at the Nap Book Fair. Bye, guys.